Sunian Mountain is probably one of the most beautiful locations in Chongqing that I've been to, so my lovely wife decided to take me back here for my birthday, and of course, I'm gonna take some photos. It has been a uh, long and frightful journey. We left home at, uh, when did we leave home? 8.30 in the morning. And it is now almost 3 in the afternoon. We finally arrived. We finally arrived. And starting our Starting our, our tourism journey. At this point, we had been on the road already for about six hours by the time we reached Simian Mountain. Despite it only being about 200 kilometers from Chongqing, you have to first take a bus to Jiangjin, which is made longer by the fact that as you get closer to the town, the bus starts acting like a local bus picking up everyone on its way. And then we waited for over an hour at the Jiangjin bus stop for the next bus to go to Simian Mountain. Now, both of these bus rides should only take about an hour or so but ended up taking two or two and a half hours. Thing is, if you drive from Chongqing to Simian Mountain yourself, you can do so in about two to three hours easily. Unfortunately, it seems that my on-camera microphone took some damage due to all the water vapor in the air, so I'm afraid you're stuck with my voice for this video. And before I forget, welcome to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Mikkel and I am a photographer, videographer and freelance journalist currently based in Chongqing, China. We're starting our tour here at the Wangshang Tai Waterfall. I actually visited this exact place a few years ago with my friend Patrick. Um, my original vlog will be linked here as well. You should definitely check it out. I did photograph this exact waterfall the last time I was here and I was hoping to get a new beautiful photo of this exact waterfall. Unfortunately, the weather conditions aren't very good and it seems the best time to visit is actually in the morning. However, my photos the second time around came out okay, so I'm not totally disappointed. Photographing waterfalls can be a bit of a challenge and it never really looks good without an ND filter. An ND filter helps darken the image, allowing you to use a longer shutter speed. This is what gives the water that silky smooth look. One of the definite positive things that we experienced was that because pretty much everyone else at the park was driving their own car, we had a tour bus entirely for ourselves. The driver would wait for us at every location to take us to the next one. The next stop on our path today was the Tudi Shenyan Lookout Post, an impressive view over a smaller waterfall and massive cliffs. Unfortunately, again, this area was completely covered in fog, so rather than try to take photos I knew I couldn't get, we decided to just explore the surrounding area instead and look through the fog wherever we could. So the view isn't bad or anything, it's just nearly impossible to photograph. It's just a lot easier to just try and enjoy it with my eyes instead of through the camera lens. I really like how this looks. I can't photograph it very well, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Getting up early the next morning on my birthday, we headed out again to visit some of the places we'd missed the day before. This is earlier in the day and the weather is better overall and so there was a better chance for us to be able to get some good frames today. With this waterfall you can clearly see the difference. I didn't have my ND filter on at the time, so it was possible for me to do a longer exposure and the water doesn't look nearly as good as in the previous waterfall images. 
finally, it was time for the last bit of fun, a little boat trip on the river to end our stay at Simeon Mountain. I was also on this boat ride the last time I was here and I always really enjoy the calmness of a slow and smooth boat ride. My harvest of photos wasn't as big as I hoped, but my wife and I did have a very enjoyable stay despite the long, windy way to get here. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider leaving a comment and even a like as well. I have many more videos coming so stay tuned for those and I will see you very soon.